All right, YouTube, this is gonna be a quick video on my range extended hybrid golf cart. Not really hybrid like gasoline electric, but hybrid's gonna be part lithium and uh, part lead acid. So it's not really a how to, it's just sort of what I've done so far and kind of what I got planned. And hopefully uh, somebody will take these ideas and run with it and do better than what I did. So um, I got a golf cart. Uh, we live in a neighborhood where a lot of people have a lot of land and um, everybody's got some sort of golf cart, side-by-side, -side, buggy, both, something, because um, you don't just go from one place to another. It's Everything's kind of spread out. So just if you want to go get the mail or if you want to take the garbage out, it's out uh, all the way out here is where the road is way out there and then uh, when I go to work we work long shifts so you got a lot of stuff to take to work with you so if I want to go load up for work uh, I want to be going uh, all the way out here here and uh, it's just a long distance not that truck but uh, way past that back out here is where I got to go take everything to load up so <clears throat> um, the batteries in the golf cart finally got so bad, I couldn't even get my stuff to work anymore. And um, so it's kind of gotten to that point where I had to do something and I'd already had always planned to change it over to lithium because there's not a lot of difference between a, an electric car and a golf cart. It's just one smaller, kind of like a go-kart. Um, uh, it's like a go-kart versus a regular car. So it's kind of like first steps. Someday I want to make an electric car, but a golf cart's already put together. It already works. It already runs. Um, and uh, batteries are one of the biggest things. Batteries uh, are expensive. Uh, motors, if you get a cheap one, you got to keep looking, keep looking, keep looking until you can find one, or you spend a lot of money and buy a motor. And controllers can be expensive too, and i got plans for that too. But um, so... What I decided to do, I had already been working with lithium batteries and the golf cart got to where it would go to the hangar and back and on the way back to the house it would be struggling for its last little bit and uh, it's a 36 volt golf cart and uh, I've gone ahead and made a 48 volt in the midst of all this but I uh, decided to make some lithium backs. Okay so I bought these real cheap eBay BMS's. Um, they come from China. They're just a couple of dollars. And um, I had to make a battery pack for it. So when I'm trying to decide what size, this is all done experimentally because I don't know how many amps the golf cart's going to draw. I tried testing my batteries to see how much power was left in them and they're just so dead they wouldn't even test. So I couldn't tell how much, how many milliamp hours or amp hours I needed to go how far. Um, so it's all done experimentally. So I started with a BMS. I had to decide what size to make it. So I looked at the picture from eBay. But what the heck? In the eBay picture has a uh, 3S uh, 5P um, battery pack. That's uh, three cells in series, five in parallel, and it's just a battery pack this size. So I went ahead and did that. Um, put the uh, BMS on there, stuck it in the golf cart. Um, the golf cart's 36 volts, so it's six six volt batteries, all in uh, series. So I just take two of these, that's 12 volts, disconnect the wire that connects two of them, and try the BMS. Um, the first time I did it, I had this BMS blow up. Two bucks down the drain, whatever. So um, I took it and I doubled it up, two BMSs, just to double the power. So um, when I did that, I was using uh, speaker wire because that's what I happen to have laying around. And you can see here that uh, it kind of melted. So I went ahead and doubled up speaker wire and that's uh, 18 gauge. So then I had an idea of how much power that I needed to be able to put through one of these things. Um, went ahead and changed that over to 14 gauge for some of the others. Um, found a nice 14 gauge wire. It also happens to be speaker wire, but 
it's uh, got a nice silicone coating on it so it stays nice and soft and it's working it's handling the current just fine um, I could go ahead and uh, change up these power MOSFETs right here but um, this whole board costs two dollars and good MOSFETs are gonna cost more than two dollars each so Instead of me beefing up this board, I've just gone ahead and got more of these cheap eBay boards from China. The only downside is you have to wait a couple of weeks for them to come in, so you have to plan ahead some. Um, well, the next steps... Uh, oh, by the way, this right here, that has been enough battery power to double the range of the golf cart and get me up to 48 volts. I took... Uh, to those packs and put them together in parallel um, and step them on to the end of the 36 volt pack. Uh, I didn't have to worry about a motor controller because this golf cart just uses a simple wiper with resistors. I don't know if you can see that in there. So it's not the most efficient controller ever and I'm going to change that out with a uh, PWM controller in the future but I just uh, need to make the thing work first then I need to extend the range uh, after I do that I will probably end up um, at some point just putting a higher voltage BMS on here and instead of running all the power through the BMS I'll probably use uh, relays like they use in a car um, and uh, turn those on with the key whenever I'm ready to use the golf cart but um, in the meantime, it's completely scalable, it's working, and uh, hopefully today I will finish putting this pack together and I will eliminate these two batteries and that'll be my first weight reduction in this golf cart and uh, my first step toward a fully lithium golf cart. All right, YouTube, have a good day.